Hey girls, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Sorry girls, I know it's been a while. I've had a few DMs asking where the vlogs are and inshallah they're here now. So let's just skip past the fact that I haven't posted a vlog in a month. I know, I don't even know how that happened. Honestly, I've missed you girls so much and I've missed vlogging. But the thing is, I feel like when my life gets a bit hectic, I start to get anxious and the last thing I wanna do is vlog. But inshallah, we're gonna like manage that a lot this year. But anyways, so it's currently Tuesday and it's around like 12.30 and this whole weekend and like kind of last week as well, has just been a heat wave in the UK and I classify a heat wave as like 25 degrees plus like I don't think I'm made for UK like hot weather because it's just like humid and like sticky and it's not the vibe but at the same time I feel like we just can't help ourselves when we complain about that kind of stuff it's like it's either too cold or too hot but honestly I'm glad that the sun is shining I feel like 100% my mood is affected by the weather if the weather is gloomy and depressing that's just like a reflection of how I'm feeling inside. So I'm so happy that summer has finally begun. I feel like it just transitioned to like winter to summer. There was like not really spring and I'm kind of struggling with my outfits lately. But to be fair, I'm really liking what I'm wearing today. I'll do a full outfit detail in a sec. But before we get into today, I just wanted to insert a clip from a couple of weeks ago. I feel like it's just like loose footage and I might as well just insert it here. It was actually from Hailey Bieber's skincare launch, which is of course Road. They just arrived in the UK and they invited me to to go over and see what it was all about so I'll insert that footage now and then I just quickly got ready honestly girls I think at this point it's becoming a problem I feel like now that I don't have like a structured job like my whole time management skills they're gone they're out the window but anyways I managed to go to Selfridges and I picked up this blazer but the only con I have is like I like it but I don't know if I love it. I'm at that in-between stage and I'm trying to justify it as well but let me know what you girls think although it might be too late but just let me know what you girls think. So this is a blazer this is how it looks it's a cropped oversized blazer and it feels very comfortable and I feel like it just like elevates my outfit and yeah I'll put the designer's name up on screen if you guys are interested like I don't know how I feel about it like should I oh like on my way home I was just thinking I was like Yasmin you could have bought a bag instead of buying this blazer but at the same time YOLO YOLO <laughs> YOLO is the vibe this year so this is how the blazer looks like I did kind of like repeat yesterday's outfit with the denim skirt but honestly that's just what clothes are for if you like an outfit repeat it I literally have no shaming doing that also update on yesterday's shoes I wore like these denim shoes if I didn't take a video of it I'll put it up on screen like the shoes I wore it was these cute denim shoes from Zara and girls now I have the worst blisters on both my feet like my pinky toes are really going through it right now <laughs> and I'm like I'm very sorry I did that to you so now we have to be smart on the shoes that we wear I'm thinking like black boots like what do we think about black boots in this outfit I feel like it's a vibe. But yeah, I'm feeling very comfortable. And also, I feel like soon... Oh my god, that's my alarm going off. <laughs> One second. Okay, I need to order an Uber ASAP. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was having a look at my wardrobe and I realised I have a lot of like one-time occasion like outfits not really outfits that I can wear again like for example now this blazer I feel like it's going to be something that I wear a lot of times it's not just like a one-time thing which is a good thing so I feel like a lot of like the evening dresses I have it's like a statement and like if I wear it again <laughs> you can tell I feel like this is such a first world problem that's just something I've been thinking about I feel like I'm going to do like a whole closet clear out type of thing donate a lot of my clothes to charity and just like start thinking of outfits that I can rewear again. I feel like now that I'm talking about it more, this blazer is growing on me. And I feel like it's giving very much Hailey Bieber street style. She was the inspo for this outfit. So tonight will be fun. I don't actually know if she's gonna be there tonight. So we shall see. And yeah, I'm gonna order an Uber and I'm gonna take you girls along with me. And yeah, let's get going. I am so obsessed. I want to chop your Puna make I see one You're my love one since you Let me make a bad man sing Oh, ah, 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 
dollars I don't spend for your head. And now back to today. The plan for today is actually to meet one of my Instagram friends in real life. I haven't actually met her before, so I'm so excited to see her. We're just gonna grab coffee first. I think I'm gonna go and get matcha, like an ice matcha. I've been a matcha girly, guys. I feel like we have to do like a full debrief of how my life has been since we last spoke. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. I love matcha, but I feel like my matcha game at home has like leveled up. I'm not sure if I've shown you girls yet, but my favorite matcha spot is this place called Jenki in Selfridges. I will like insert the logo over here somewhere. But girls, if you live in London, please go to Jenki and tag me in your stories because honestly, it's probably the best matcha I've ever tasted. And I even loved it so much that I bought one of their pouches home with me. So now I have like a little Jenki setup at home, which is exciting. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. It's currently 27 degrees. So you know I'm gonna be struggling, but it's gonna be fine. Also, I wanna show you girls my nails. If you girls have watched my vlogs, you already know that I like the press on nails so I just like to use like double-sided nail tape and just like stick these nails on but look how cute these nails look I love that they have like glitter on the top and it's just so easy to use and I love like a good nude nail I feel like you can just never go wrong okay and I need to head off now but before we do I'm just going to show you guys what I'm wearing firstly these hijabs I'm obsessed with I think I've already mentioned it before but it's by a brand called I'm going to insert the name here because I don't want to like mispronounce it but honestly girls I love these hijabs so much little disclaimer my friend does own the brand but i wouldn't honestly actively promote products or things i don't genuinely love and already this has been like my go-to summer hijab so basically it comes with an underscarf at the bottom if you guys can see and this underscarf is basically attached to the hijab so you don't actually have to go looking for your underscarf because i feel like some mornings that's what makes me late when i can't find like my matching underscarf but this basically comes attached and you can just like throw it over your shoulder very easy but i just also add a little bit of fashion tape to make sure it's like all lined down but like it's a perfect piece for summer i'm gonna try link them down below if you guys want to shop the hijabs they're called like instant flowy hijabs so yeah check them out maybe just have a browse you don't have to buy anything but i feel like it's just like honestly a good investment i've already put all my sisters onto them as well which I'm sorry for their bank accounts, but it's a good thing. Also, I feel like I'm starting to get drenched because I'm literally standing in front of the window. I have it closed because I don't want like the sound to get muffled. But yeah, let's continue. I bought these earrings last week from Anthropology, and I'm wearing them out for the first time. And I feel like they just complement my abaya so well. And I'm loving like cool, fancy looking earrings lately. Just a bit of like pizzazz. <laughs> I've never said pizzazz in my life. I don't know why I just said that. But anyways, let's go and show you my abaya. And this is the abaya for today. This abaya is actually from Lindsay Ada. And honestly, I love the color. It's a pastel blue moment. Of course, it's like a maxi length. I got mine in 52. And girls, honestly, you learn something new every day. But honestly, I never understood like abaya lengths, like 52. Where did they get that from? 52 is five foot two. Like, I don't know that. Even when I'm telling you guys, it was like clocking in my head. But 5 foot 2, wait, I think I got this in 54 actually, in 52. But, so 54 is 5 foot 4. So if you guys didn't know that, you're welcome for that. But yeah, I feel like it took me a bit too long to. Honestly, I don't know why nobody told me sooner. So I hope that helped. But yeah, I got this in 54 and I love that it has pockets as well. Like, isn't this like the perfect just like casual piece but not really that casual because I feel like it looks like a whole outfit in itself which is exciting I love it and the last piece I'm just wearing my bag from Pol Pollen I think it's called I'm not I'm not sure how to pronounce it guys this was actually gifted but honestly I love it I feel like this is such a unique piece I haven't really seen anyone else wearing it but of course I'll try to link everything that I'm wearing in this video down below and yeah it fits all my essentials and I love that it can go crossbody as well but I'm just gonna chuck this in maybe for now i don't know and also i picked this one because i don't really have any light colored bags i realize i have like a lot of black bags and like random colors but i don't have any white cream or white kind of vibe and that's the vibe for today i'm just gonna head off i don't really know what shoes i should wear but low-key i just want to wear my birkenstocks it's like open toe sandals vibe um is that a bad idea i feel like birkenstocks are just so comfortable and it's really hot I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to wear some Birkenstocks. And yeah, that is the outfit. Oh, also my favourite perfume at the moment. And it's this one by Fleur. And this is how it looks like. Honestly, I'm obsessed. I've never smelled perfume like this before. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I, I like, okay, let me let me try my best to describe it. I'll try to put like all the notes here. I feel like it has like a hint of like a citrus 
smell. If you girls like my perfume references that I've like mentioned before, then you would love this because we have the same perfume taste. But basically, it's very like fresh, citrusy, lightweight, and it's the kind of perfume, honestly, I've never experienced it before, but you can literally just like keep on smelling it and it doesn't make you feel sick. Like, I don't, know how, I don't know what they put in it, but it smells amazing. So that's my scent for today. And one last thing, I bought this handheld fan to carry with me when I'm going on, like, the tubes and stuff. Because you girls know, it gets hot in the tubes. I need this in my life. And it has two speeds, and it's honestly just an essential. It literally just, like, closes up and fits in my bag perfectly. Let's see. It's like I got it in a cute pink colour. And guess what? It's also a portable charger. Honestly, win, win. I'm also going to try link this down below for you girls. But anyways, I feel like that was enough catching up for now. Let's head off <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys later. Oh, matcha i just got mine with oat milk and honey because they didn't do any vanilla syrup but yay it looks so nice it actually tastes really nice as well hey girls so it's currently a couple of hours later can you believe it's currently 9 p.m and I'm literally just like watching the sunset. It's just, it's a whole vibe in this room right now. Of course, I got some matcha and we just had like a little cute, chill catch up. It was really nice. And then after that, we got a bit of content as well because we were all wearing abayas and it was just, it was a vibe. It was really cute. So after our catch up, we decided to browse some shops and then I decided to get one thing from Coz. One thing about me is like, if I don't have a list or an idea of what I want, then I'm going to go into a shop and I'm probably just going to get everything but the thing I actually need. So luckily, when I was going into Coz, I actually had an idea of what I wanted and it was this simple blue like shirt just like a very casual shirt because i don't really have any like colored loose fitting shirts apart from like my white shirt and probably like a green one but i feel like blue is a classic color and also i'm planning to film like a summer lookbook for you girls so if you guys want to see that hopefully it will already be up and i'm going to try link it up up here somewhere and yeah i feel like this is going to be one of my staple pieces i wear during the summer because just imagine it like opened up with a white shirt underneath and maybe like my denim maxi skirt. I feel like that's a vibe. I have a vision in my head, so let's hope that looks cute. And after my quick car shop, we decided to go to my favorite Korean spot. Honestly, girls, it's like 10 out of 10, probably the best Korean spot. Like, I've tried a few. Like, I've tried, like, Barry Barry, if you girls know, in London, and Arang. Like, I used to really love them until I found my new favorite, like, Korean spot. It doesn't compare. Like, I love the starters. I love the mains. I haven't tried the dessert. Honestly, it's just 10 out of 10. You've got to love it. Before we say goodnight, because it's literally nighttime, despite how this looks, I wanted to show you girls my new summer bag, and I'm so, so excited for this. It's been on my wish list for a while, and I was like, Ming and ring about it but I got it and I'm so excited to show you girls if you guys follow me on Instagram you already know what I'm gonna show you I'm screaming inside and girls you know that amount of self-control I've had to have for the past 24 hours because I've only received this yesterday but 24 hours to not open this bag because I just want to do like an unboxing moment I'm so excited this is gonna be like a first impression moment but this is her all covered up so the criteria was like summer vibes light maybe like pastel pause the video right now and try guess what color bag i got because if you get it right i feel like we're just we're just in tune but this is the moment imagine it's not even the color i asked for because genuinely i have not opened this bag but inshallah bismillah i'm gonna cry bismillah I jinxed it because this is not the colour I asked for. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. This is not the colour I wanted. Oh, that makes me really sad. <laughs> that was such a fail. <laughs> I don't even know what to do right now. Oh, this is like... <laughs> So basically, th it, this is purple, but the colour I wanted was lilac, so a lighter colour of purple. Um, and that is what I thought I ordered with like the images. This is awkward. But anyways, we'll put that to the side. So yeah, that's just like thrown me off just a little bit. 
but I feel like with net a porter or net a porte, however you pronounce it, they're really easy with returns. So yeah. But anyways, good night from me. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, that's really not how I wanted that to go. But anyways, bye guys. <laughs> Hey girls, so it's currently the next day and I'm at the studio. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I put together probably like eight summer outfit ideas for you girls and I'm gonna film that on YouTube. And I'm also gonna make like a short form like video for TikTok and Instagram. And I'm so excited. I feel like putting these clothes together has really made me excited for summer because I'm like just in the summer feels right now. Also, I'm currently at Off Studios, which is a studio by one of my friends. I'm gonna like put their Instagram handle here. So if you girls wanna book, you can book there. And it just looks so cute. So I'm going to give you girls a little tour. Firstly, I feel like this big mirror just deserves a moment of her own. Like, she's just so big. Excuse the tripod over there. Sets the scene. A gorgeous big mirror. Also, I'm obsessed with the walls here. It's like a little, like, nude, washed out colour. And this is a sneak peek of all my summer outfits. Hopefully, the lookbook will be up already. So just click on the link in the description to see all the outfits I put together. And if you guys have any holiday planned, these are the outfits that you might want to consider. And this is how the rest of the setup looks like. I'm so excited to start shooting. Also, this little table in the mirror is honestly gorgeous. But I'll just start shooting now and I'll catch up with you girls in a bit. I'm feeling lonely. Oh, I wish I'd find a lover that could hurt me. Now I'm crying in my room. So scared for the love. That you can do you guys look absolutely amazing. And the fact that we are celebrating 40 years of being in the business are creating amazing art. I look for his eyebrows every day. I guess he got lost or flew away. Waiting around is the way. In counting the this is November, loving is good as the say. I'm with Ole, and I'm saying I love his energy. Is there any advice you want to give to anyone to be positive and grateful? Being positive about being the best version of yourself, celebrate life every day, and recognize that you are number one in your life. We got colour matched and we got our blush done as well. Mm. I got shade 42 or 52? I think mine, I can't even 40. say 12, that's a foundation. I can look at my thing. Yeah, I took a picture of it and I think I even videoed it as well. I'm it's like 40, yeah, and I think I'm 52. I think I was getting confused with yours. But yeah, it was like a nice like pale, like pink blush shade. Mm. Do you like yours? Mm. Really yeah, and I thought it looks gorgeous, flawless. And I also got shade match with their foundation. I was just saying, like, we've heard about the foundation for, for years. so long, it's like the OG. Yeah, foundation, and we've just never tried it. So inshallah, we'll try it. Apparently, it's very lightweight as well, mm. so perfect for summer. For the oily girlies, they recommended having a mattifying primer first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely gonna do that because girls is oily. Yeah, and the lady also recommended, like, if I had dry patches to just never set with, um, Set off, whatever, powder. Really? Yeah, she said just leave it. And I was like, she is a what's it called makeup artist at the end of the day. Living on the edge. Yes, and so we're just gonna go to drop off some dress and probably just like walk, explore London. That's the vibe. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm 
Guys, this is the best donuts ever. I can't even believe it's vegan as well. It's called Ice Ice Baby. Anything from donut time, I feel like it's just gonna be amazing. We also got like the glazed donut last time, but that was good too. 